All right, boys. Are we reacting to dice? No, we're not reacting. <laughs> It's funny you say that because, in fact, we are not looking at that right now. I don't know if I can do this. You said it show up, Zed. Boys, we are reacting to prison inventions, all right? These are things that have been made in prison by prisoners with prison stuff. You better go now. You better go now to the going to turn into a cow. The boys dot store to get this merch. It's really cool. Isn't it, Eddie? Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Now I'm gonna push it really fast. Ready? Ready? Yeah. Ka! Yeah. The boys! Dot store! Did you like that? Look at this hoodie, bro. Look at this. Mmm. Yeah. You like this hoodie? Yeah. You like that? Kind of good. How do you make dice out of toilet paper? Like this, dog. They turn it into Don't a little ball, they shit. piss on it. It doesn't look shit. I was gonna say it looks really good. They wait for it to harden and then they like squeeze it. Look, this one's just with spit, right? Because it's white. This one's made with piss because it's yeah. yellow. Have you done this before? Who made the bottom right one? Because that dude- That's that, your dice. That's a piece of shit. That guy shit. is not if, making If you that were a dice, that, that would done. be you. Which one would you be? You'd be the piss soaked one. Yeah. So, sort of by all time. Oh, it is a sport of all time. This is the best you guys got? Maybe you should stay in prison, dog. What's this? Flip flop. Oh, with a phone in it. This is hard. Is this what the TAS are looking for? TAS. The task. TSA. The task force. Wait, what, what would you even use this for? The calling people? Uh, calling other people's feet. Eddie, how are you supposed to text your girl and send her nudes when you're in jail, bro? You need a phone. Imagine how quick the feet pics go up online if you had this set up. This is why questions cannot be asked in this group because this is what happens. You sound ridiculous right now. It's a phone in your feet. Like, why does it need to be in your feet? You can't hide the phone in your butthole anymore. They check. Oh, it's like in between the whole shoe. I thought it was like open at the top. You notice how it's not an iPhone? That's why I asked the supposed to mean. Well, because if it was an iPhone, if you threw one of those toilet paper dice at it, it would crack. You could just say, hey Siri, and the bitch would respond from the bottom of your feet. Bro, get all the prisoners in a room and go, hey Siri! And listen. And wait for someone's foot to say, hello. hello. Shut up, Siri! Flashlight made by prisoners. This is the Pixar light after math. <laughs> after math. After math. After prison. <laughs> this is the Pixar lamp after two plus four. <laughs> <laughs> How bad is prison where you actually have to make your own lighting? Yeah, that's kind of ridiculous. Give them like a freaking like match or something. A crossbow made from toothbrushes. That's hard as f Yeah, I love crossbows. So what would you shoot out of this? Other toothbrushes. A uh, sharp tooth. <laughs> You want to know how I got these scars? Sharp toothbrush. <laughs> Man, you've been telling that fucking joke for three weeks and I got no fucking idea what it means. So you kept saying sharp hamburger for the first three weeks of me living with you. What does that mean? Oh, water heater. Oh, that's that's clever. Yeah, that's actually, that's that's banger. That'd be narrator trying to make fucking tea dog. Wait, what the f Hold on a second. That would just shock you. Not if you don't touch it. <laughs> You're in water. It's, you heat up a glass of water. You don't put it in the fucking pool, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what the f are you talking about? Then how would you heat up the water? Eddie, I don't know if like they do this in Mexico, but here in America, uh, we've been heating up water for decades. Uh, it's got a lot of benefits. It kills all the bugs in it. Uh, we have tea. <laughs> Am I just f***ing retarded or do I not understand what the f Electricity makes things hot. Put electricity in or around water. But that's dangerous. You're Brother in prison. <laughs> they don't care, man. <laughs> Having lipstick is dangerous in prison, dude. <laughs> Honestly, tap water isn't very conductive. Shut up, man. Don't tell me water's not conductive, you bonehead. You plug, you know what I'm saying? And then there's some water like this. And I plug that thing up. Oh, look, he's using it. Holy Yeah, and that's what boil it, though. You know, I probably leave this in here for about 20 minutes. That thing get good and juicy. Look at that. We're going to check that out a little bit later. But this is the bug. Okay, I wanted, I, I, you know what I thought was gonna happen when I saw that thing? That it would make water go Bzzz. That's a movie thing. Yeah. It doesn't actually happen That's in just, real life. That just happens in Spy Kids 3D, man. That's it. There's uh, videos on the internet of people dipping live wires in water. It only reaches like that far, the electricity. Yeah. Imagine like throwing a battery in the ocean, it would kill everyone in the ocean. Just, I knew that. 
got there's videos of a dude on YouTube doing it. He puts live wires in it and he puts his finger in it and he's like, I can start feeling it around here. Really? Yeah. yeah. We're not incentivizing you to do anything like that. We're just conversing about it, YouTube. You hear that, Shaheem? I've seen this scene in movies that if you drop a bundle of live wire in Still power. Wait, this is real right here. Is. I thought it was always free. No, yeah, all of it's real. It's real. This guy's amazing. And it looks as if he's bad, but it's not as, quite as bad as the movies lead you to believe. I want to see if I can feel the electricity with my finger, so I'll put it in the water. It's 100 volts. Hmm. Nothing. Let's get close to the wires. Nothing. Still nothing. Oh, I'm starting to feel it here. <laughs> What is this? Oh, there is a cut on this finger and the electricity can go through it much easier. You know, the flesh under the skin is much more conductive. Everyone knows that. It's like right on top of this one. Yeah. Mm. Definitely don't try this at home. I can feel the electricity here very little. Not much. Let's get closer to one of the wires. Might also be because he's grounded. Dude, this is making me so anxious, bro. Ah, oh, me too, man. I can't watch this whole thing. That is not a radio, dude. That's what they pulled out of the T2000's f***ing skull, dude. That's what they called an actual android, and they were like, what's this? And he panicked and said radio. <laughs> <laughs> That's his brain chip, dude. That says number two on it. Was that a f***ing unrolled pencil? No, an unrolled radio. pencil. Number two pencil. What's a number two pencil? Oh, you don't want to know. <laughs> it's pooey. Have you ever heard of going number two? Yeah, imagine that in pencil form. It's a poop thing. Oh, this this is like the epitome of poorness. My the own. prison tattoo gun. <laughs> what are you looking at me like that for? Look at this fucking thing, dude. It's just a fucking pen with a little jet engine on the back of it somehow. How do they sharpen it to make it like a needle? Um, you have to make a sharpening thing out of uh, 15 rolls of toilet paper. Yeah, I, I would trust this thing over anything that my friends used to tattoo each other with. This is this looks pretty reliable. Have you seen them do it in Thailand? Stick and poke? Stick? Yeah. Yeah. We used to give stick and pokes at the trap. A lot of infection came out of that. What does that mean? And then bleep ended up getting a tattoo gun and tattooed everybody and then all of them got infections and it fing blew out. Yeah, Bubba gave me this with a pen in the big house. <laughs> <laughs> it says Bubba's bitch right on my tailbone. I got a tramp stamp from big, yeah. big gay Bubba. Inmates bug the guards room with bugs to listen for cell <laughs> shakedowns. What, they, what is the bug? It's a, it's a little the microphone baby thing right here. Look, see? Yeah, I understand making a radio, but making a fucking microphone like radio wave transmitter. I'm struggling with that one. I'm a little skeptical bit. of this because this looks like an actual product, like something you buy instead of something you make. Yeah. And to make the whole book seems like a lot People as get well. Last year, man, they can get that. Okay, now that's some next level shit there. Now that's some text level shit right Shut the there. Shut Oh my god, dude. It's like having narrator on the fucking TV, man. Whoa, that's a paper mache head. Made by Frank Morris, John Anglin, and Clarence Anglin when they escaped Alcatraz prison. Yeah. Who the fuck is getting fooled by that walking down the street? Imagine making a head. Why? Well, if it's dark and you see a blanket up to like his nose, oh, you would not know. Right. Where'd they get the hair? They are. Molly. Are you asking how people harvest hair? There's hair farms on everyone's head. <laughs> you cut it, you wait, you cut it again, you wait. <laughs> oh man, dude, it's crazy. They made a raft out of raincoats? Yeah. Oh, this, this is, is the, the big one. Big yeah, one. yeah. Wasn't it like unconfirmed if they actually escaped because... It's theorized they died in the tides. Yeah, this is like the island prison, like the big and Max prison. And it's put there specifically not because it's just an island, but because the currents and the rocks around it were incredibly bad. It's like the, the prison that Azkaban from Harry Potter yeah. was based on. The unescapable prison and people escaped from it. And they were never seen again, so they're like, oh, maybe they just died. How the fake head used by Alcatraz prisoners for escaping looked in action. Oh, that's yeah. that's very convincing. Yeah, that's awesome. Especially if you're just passing by. Yeah. I'd have no questions. I'm gonna put that in my room so Dose can't get me up for videos in the morning. I'm gonna go sleep somewhere else. <laughs> Knife disguised as a belt buckle. Bro, I would be so mad if I was killed by a belt buckle, dude. Oh, can you imagine if you had a hernia like right by your belt line yeah. and you had this thing there and you accidentally sliced and it and it all of your open. organs fall out instantly. I'd hate to go to like heaven and be like, what happened? And be like, some dude under his belt and I died. <laughs> I went down on this guy and then my eye hurt and I died. <laughs> Should we call narrator and make sure he doesn't have a knife in his belt buckle? I, I think, uh, yeah. 
Tin can grill. It's, that's where it's been like cooking at my house for the last like three months. <laughs> Juice, has been, Juice has been living. This is the type of shit I've been on. Where'd they get the fucking, uh, the inductor? What do you call that, inductor? It's or what? heating element. Just a bit of metal. No, it's just a bit of metal, man. <laughs> it's a bit of metal. Fucking grows everywhere. To celebrate Easter and the creation of this sub, a shiv made in German prison that intended to appear as a simple wooden cross. This is what Eddie's gonna pull out in the next horror video. Yeah. <laughs> that's Eddie. Cool. Yeah, I'm bringing that, that to cool. our. I'm, I'm gonna buy a shiv cross. En el nombre del Padre, del Hijo y del Espíritu Santo. Amen. Next horror video, don't bring a gun, bring the shiv cross. Actually, bring the gun cross. Ooh, that'd be cool. Prisoner shows how to make a phone battery in prison on TikTok. Okay, so they don't give them water heaters, but they have TikTok. Dude, I watch these so much. So many people upload TikToks from prison. Yeah. Legitimately. I uh, know. Wait, how does that work? I thought you didn't have access to your phone. People sneak them in. It's like the most popular contraband is a phone. You sneak them in inside of flip flops, bro. Yeah, yeah that's true. It's a lot of people asking about how we use this phone, how we charge this phone. This is how we do it, bro. You see, full battery. We got the chargers it's right got here. Fucking, the like, pack. nice watch on, we too. Introduce the battery inside. This is how we do it. You see, we put it together. Bloof. Now, we got this cable right here. We introduce this cable negative and positive. They're smart motherfuckers, so, bro. They just right made like a battery. full functioning you got battery. Nothing pack. but time. And this rating, that's how we bring this Yeah, I mean, like, it's young, not that man. impressive if it took them 10 okay, years. Cable, this is how you do. I wonder how long that was. Check it with your thumb. And just how do you know it's done cooking? To the chargers. And we put it how the, the phone. <laughs> Leave it for one hour. One hour, we straight be dog. We back in game, boy. We back in the game. Charging my Samsung battery. Mm, we back in the game. We back. I've seen a YouTube documentary, an interview. It was very interesting. It was this prisoner that had gotten out of prison like in the early 2010s. And he had been in prison since the early 70s or something like that. Shit. He'd been in prison for 40 years. And he goes into prison, he comes back out and the world is completely f***ing different. He didn't understand what a smartphone was or mm, like. Probably never heard of hand time. It'd be mind blowing. The advancement in civilization, dude. Yeah. It was also interesting, like, learning what it's like to be in a high security prison and how you get treated there and how the guards, like, don't intervene. And, you know, it's basically like fend for your life every fucking day type shit. A, a lot of people just try to get back in because they're like, this is too different. To do. Yeah. That's yeah. exactly what he wanted to well, do. Well, it's not even just because it's life they know, it's because it's food, it's free. You're like, it's structure. His yeah, it's structure and you don't have to pay for shit. His main thing was, like, it was better for me to stay in prison than to be out yeah. of prison mm -hmm. because he has like no way to just acclimate to what society is like versus what prison life is like. Yeah. It's easier for him to like, you know, get what he wants by like beating the f out of somebody instead of like, you can't do that in the real world, you know? Inside the crowded dorms of the Holman Correctional Facility in Alabama, I love prison shows, personal man. space is limited. This is me right here. And then, uh... That's about it, man. We try to respect everybody's little space you got. But Snake out in six months. <laughs> <laughs> There's my Scrabble dictionary. Family pictures. My mom gave me this. This was her first Bible. It still spins me out how people like God, commit huge uh, crimes and then this is glorified. This, that, this dude's like, I yeah, I had to beat the shit out of someone because they stole my shoelaces. Yeah. Inmates occupy themselves with hobbies. Robert Tedder, incarcerated since the mid 1980s on several sex and obscenity charges, was a general contractor. In prison, he uses his construction and electrical skills to build homemade guitars. No Man, way. That's insane. Okay, the guitar is made out of boat kits. This is two and a half boat kits makes this one. Modeled boat kits oh. are an approved hobby item for inmates in general population. I was say, they, they get yeah, a lot of leeway with the stuff they have. Yeah. Transistor radio parts. All of these are stood up together. This is together a, uh, to make this a correctional like facility. The inside mm. of the guitar is all wood. We have one As opposed to a prison. The, uh, tone control, so I'm assuming there's a difference. Yeah. Because I think a prison is different from a correctional facility and the, the a correctional facility is supposed to like, they give you I, I don't think they're help. different. I think there's there's different like, levels depending on your offense too, from what I know. Because I, I've seen US prisons where they're allowed to get electronics like TVs and like, like in their actual prisons, but. <laughs> the face of a guard made with soap by a prisoner in Brazil, all made with soap, even the eyes. Wow. For what? Imagine looking through the jail cell and the guy's making out with a soap model of your face. I, I think the point is the dude wears it and pretends to be the guy who has full security uh... clearance. 
This is one piece of the escape plan. I'm curious to know what role this piece paid in the escape plan. Imagine like, you looking a little soapy today, uh, Officer William. Oh, you smell a lot. Lovely. Genius try of smuggling phones to Brazil prison. All right, so we have just a bag of what, crackers? This is, this is literally dose traveling to America with 15 lithium ion batteries. Okay. And then saying, no, I <laughs> check in. Oh, they're in the crackers, bro. Oh man. Oh, is that just batteries? That's wild. That's a good idea. <laughs> what, smuggling shit in crackers? Yeah, I mean like, at, it is a really good at idea. At this point, like, what do you do? Do you just tear up every single package that comes through? Oh, dude. Yeah, that's, that's so well made though, because none of the crackers were cracked on the outside. Yeah. Huh? He wants good games. Yeah, yeah. You've said one thing in this video and it was like on point. One for one, dude. I've said more than that, just like. Hey, don't ruin the streak now. Look at those phones. Hey, you ruined the streak. That was no good. You should have left the Squid Games thing. You had 100% accuracy. Now you're all the way down to f***ing 50. Trained Sorry. cockroach smuggles smokes? Yo! I'm gonna train the cockroaches in my house to bring me my f***ing anything. Hey cockroach, bring me a dollar! How the f*** does Narrator's dog piss on the couch and this motherfucker's is training a cockroach? That is so true, man. Can you imagine though, like you, you finally <laughs> trained your one cockroach to do whatever you want, right? And then you go up to your friend and you've got your, co your pet cockroach on your shoulder and he, he looks at you and he goes, oh, oh shit, shit, you got a cockroach on you, bro. No. Whoa, that was my cigarette cockroach. That took me 15 years to train that little bastard. Did you guys know that cockroach milk is the most nutritionally that's dense that's that's material true. on the planet? Are you being serious? Yeah, look it up. Wait, can you look up cockroach milk? I want to see what their nipples look like. <laughs> Why do you? Well, where did the milk come from? Little baby nipples. No fucking way. Cockroach milk. Nutrition and benefits. A promising superfood or nothing but hype. Dude, Starbucks will be like oat, lacto three, or cockroach. Yeah. Which one? Do you yeah. Like? What, what do you call those dudes that work at Starbucks with like the the long mustache? Hipsters. This is some hipster fucking <laughs> shit right here, dude. <laughs> some hipster looked at a fucking cockroach and, and said. Yo, this could be a nutritional superfood. And then he went like this with his long ass mustache, bro. Maybe he just couldn't resist the temptation of a nice rack of cockroach titties. Maybe he went to like flick one, it flipped over. He's seen six perfect little cockroach nipples. <laughs> cockroach milk is a protein rich, crystallized substance produced by a specific type of cockroach called diplo. Oh, uh, you, you, you have to have the milk roach. So it's not just any cockroach. Yeah, it's like a milk cow. Uh, how do you know these things? I just know, man. Yeah, but like, what do you have to do? All right, let's get going. We, we, we got a cockroach milk, you're right. Juicy's f***ing, he knows weird facts. Ew, bro. What do you mean, ew, dude? Wait till you see the f***ing rack. <laughs> Prison made candle. It's just yogurt. It makes me sad when I see prisoners like risking it just to make like very, very like innocent things. Yeah. Where it's like, I want to be able to boil water to make Noodles. Well, it might be in like a max security environment where boiling water could go pretty badly. Oh, you yeah. On someone? Mm. And, and they would. I feel like a candle is a pretty easy thing to explain how it works, but this is Molly in the comments. I didn't, I didn't write that. I know you didn't, bro. I'm making a joke. No, I. I yeah, the, you you are number five on the, the most candle, offended scale. Or I'm not sparks. offended. Oh, no, no. You were so mad Birds just then. I didn't write that comment. An old way prisoners hit a contraband. This is the oldest trick in the game, so I'm not giving away any information. This is all old penitentiary stuff that does not work anymore. If you right? put something in the peanut butter, I'm going to be mad. It work? Because now if you, you put something in a jar of peanut butter and I find the peanut it's butter, the end of my penis is going to find the item. That's peanut what's going to happen. $300 wrapped in plastic. Not cash, okay? Make it make sense. It's I'm trying to keep it in view for you, all right? Oh, I've seen what this does. It covers it in peanut butter. No, it brings the peanut butter up to the top so it looks full. Oh. Why did this work? Because they could not search your food. Nowadays, wow. what they do to find out? You said something else. Yeah, I, yeah I've seen this before. Oh. Simple. Don't know something's in there. Confiscate it. Uh. That was, that's a f***able jar of peanut yeah. butter, dude. I'm kind of freaked up. Can we go back a, to that last frame? That was a pabussy. Shit. Imagine the rival cellmates pulling these on you. Whoa, look, they've even got little bullet holders in there. What the f*** are they? Like... A gun. 
I know what the f it is, Molly, but like that's like a very intricate design for it to be made in prison. Like it shoots real bullets, though. You yeah, can see them but, stored but in the, the handle. The, the question is like, how do they get all these trinkets in there? The thing is, like they're doing stuff like going to metalworking yeah. classes and doing all sorts of shit. So yeah. you take one little bolt here, one little thing. This isn't something you'd be able to do in a day. Yeah, it's hard to explain the two, the two bullets in the handle of each. They'd have to smuggle sure. them in. Yeah. How the f do you smuggle bullets into a prison? I feel like if you can get a phone in, you could probably get bullets you, in. You guys, you guys are you shoot the bullets in like. Uh, Ah, you literally stand like three miles away and just yeah, it just lands straight in the prison. What's wrong with you guys? Yeah, what the f is this? Someone made that model. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Dude, I would love to see you at the museum. Someone gonna... carved that statue. Okay. <laughs> thing in a museum. Like we're here to look at like crazy shit prisoners have made. It's just a dude who made a. Wait, ship. that was made of prisoners of war. No. Made by God. prisoners. Made by <laughs> prisoners of war. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, I was like, what the f is a pal? What the f is a pal? I just think of Eddie, like, literally in a concentration camp, seeing, like, nine malnutrition people make that and being like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this extremely painful oh, prison whip. So that's, like, what, a hose? And then what the f is this? Razor blades. Yeah, box razors. Oh, those are our razor blades. <laughs> you obviously never went through a My Chemical Romance stage. <laughs> yeah. They looked like little cylinders from my angle. What? Dude, we're on the same you, angle. Have you ever seen a razor blade? Dude, haven't you gone through one bad breakup, Eddie? You don't know what that is. Yeah, what the f***? Dose. Don't look at me. Do you want to trade spots? What? Yeah. This comment. I never lost control. What is happening in this comment section? These people are sick. Straight. I should have made out of eight and a half inches part of a prison fence. Okay, you've invented a stick. Good job. It's a sharp one, too. The shivs are like the least impressive one. Because you get anything and you just rub it on the concrete until it's sharp. What? Yeah. I literally could grow my toenails out enough to make a shiv. Oh, f***. Man. I was I was actually scared. Your toenail when you were in my house was long enough to severely injure me. I actually I actually tripped over at your house and pulled one of the floorboards out with my toenail. I believe it, dude. I'm working on my Josh Dub toenail, dude. I'll show you later. Are you really? really? Yeah, I actually have a show toenail. Us now. Oh, look. Oh, oh you, you've got ages to go, dude. Yeah, you got like a year of growth. But you know what? I'm, I'm working on it to grow it like a point, right? So that if I kick a motherfucker barefoot, it'll be like a kangaroo kicked you, bro. This was found in a jail cell in Costa Rica. Costa Rica. A white guy with a hat. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> he was hiding under the bed. It's a bit of a fake tile with a tunnel. Guarantee it. This is how I used to sneak out of my bedroom when I was little. It's a fucking glory hole, dude. Dude, <laughs> you stick your dick in there and a cockroach with tits will milk your dick, No dude. way, dude. What's in there? Oh, it's what he's hiding stuff. You got chargers? <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Friends would be the number one yeah, contraband. Yeah, prisoners. for sure. Holy f dude. Because then you can communicate with the outside and organize shit. Yeah. And you can also watch the boys as well, so. Which is not good. It's probably why you're in there in the first place. People have had their parole canceled for watching the boys. Every time this guy wants to get something, he has to go through all of this <laughs> shit blindly, dude. Yo, it's like f wrong phone. This guy's got more cell phones in a video than fing Linus tech tips, dude. Dude, literally. <laughs> Sexual alternative? Oh, oh what the f what is the this? Oh man, we 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 all been there. The two sponge rubber glove rubber band Pringle can method. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When you haven't seen an actual woman in months or years, a rolled up blanket with a plastic bag inside and a generous squirt of baby oil starts to look pretty good. Man, I'll just say, I've seen an actual woman today and that still looks pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> you did a good job. Bro, those look like little Debbie cakes. They actually uh, do. Little Debbie rolls, The dude. thing that I've realized from this video is that they do be cranking the hog in prison. <laughs> Bro, listen, as a developing teen, these were fucking sexy. Word. I think that's a bit of a stretch. Come on, man. You never looked at a Swiss roll and been like, yo. No. No. This makes me feel weird about eating your cooking here, Eddie. If you'd f a Swiss roll, what would you do to a f***ing peanut butter, bro? This is a stapler gun. Like, it's just a f***ing stapler gun. It's already made. It already shoots but they, things they for- But they gunified it, bro. What would the accuracy be on that? Mm, one. <laughs> <laughs> you, you have to hold it up to someone's oh, like they, against the skin. <laughs> it actually uses bullets. I didn't realize. I thought it would just shoot staplers and they put a little yeah, nozzle yes. thing at the front. Like, it already shoots yeah. stapler. Put the extendo on my fucking stapler gun, bro. <laughs> silencer on it. <laughs> Dad, I put I a loud can, intro on my stapler. I can stapler, do my bro. paper projects late into the night with the silencer on my <laughs> stapler gun. <laughs> oh, shoe phone. More phone shoe. And now I get the sandal that I was asking about earlier. They're trying to smuggle that shit into the prison. Yeah. 
<laughs> I just walk around with this. Yo, dude, you got bones in your shoes? That's why I was so f***ing confused about it, bro. Does your prison uniform not have pockets? Bro, this sounds like a cartoon crunch. Listen to this, right? <laughs> You're just eating packing foam over here. T-shirt launcher. Oh, you've seen those, right? T-shirts? No. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you had you had a hundred percent accuracy. You're down to one. Are you wearing a t-shirt, Molly? How did you get it? Damn. Well, we hope you've uh, enjoyed looking at various prison inventions by the prisoners. Let this be a lesson to you. If you ever go to prison, if you do steal a phone, so you can go to the boys dot store. That's right. And you can keep watching our videos and smuggle in game of subs in your butthole. And if yeah. you're watching our videos from prison right now, we would love to hear from you. Below. Please take a video of yourself and send it to us. We're not up. Promise. All right. Thanks for watching everyone. Thank you. Love you.